Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Cindy Sexton. You've probably heard the term doctor shopping. It's where people visit different medical offices to illegally get prescription drugs. Now there's a new twist in the opioid epidemic. It's being referred to as doggy doctor shopping. People are using their pets to get drugs for themselves. Channel 3's Lori Mitchell joins us live in the studio with more on this disturbing trend. Lori. The opioid epidemic has reached such a crisis level that veterinarians are now playing a part in fighting the problem. It's hard to imagine anyone intentionally hurting their pet, but police in Kentucky say a woman there did by repeatedly cutting her golden retriever to get pain pills to feed her own addiction. Addicts are becoming more creative to get their fix. Hospitals and medical offices have been seeing it for years. Now veterinarians are too. People so desperate they're going to extreme measures like abusing animals to get drugs. I have not seen it in the practice, but it is out there. Dr. Randy Hammond tells me vets are aware of what's happening, and he says he's always looking for red flags. We are really, from a compassionate standpoint, very concerned about pain control, and pets need that too. But it is a situation to where you want to make sure that the client's not going to more than one veterinary hospital, or they're not going through the medications faster than they should. The drug of choice is tramadol, a pain med used for pets with arthritis. It works similarly to morphine, but it's a lot cheaper. Tennessee has taken steps to fight the opioid epidemic. It has a controlled substance monitoring database that allows doctors to check a patient's drug history before writing a prescription. Most vets also require pet records. The state has tough laws against people who hurt animals too, becoming the first in the country last year to launch an animal abuse registry. Back in Kentucky, Heather Piera was charged in 2014 with animal cruelty. We did check with the Humane Educational Society and so far they have not had any reports here of anyone actually injuring pets to get drugs. But they always encourage people to call it in if you know about it. I'm Lori Mitchell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.